quality stocks that have high probability of going up and rising in value. So I've named the strategy strategy one weekly. The reason why I've named it that way is because it's based on the weekly chart. And the best thing about something like this is that if it's based on the weekly chart, you literally just have to check on the chart maybe at the end of every day. That's it. Maybe give it five day, five minutes a day, nothing more. So let's dive right into our strategy. The first thing that this strategy has, has my key algorithm matrix that I've required. Um, something called the CPM, which we will learn more about down the road. And ADV, which is the average daily volume or what the volume has been over the past 60 days on average. And I'm looking for stocks with a minimum of 250,000 uh, shares being traded on a daily basis for the last 60 days. So let's come to what we have here. We have the symbols, we have the price, we have the exchanges, we have the CPM. Our goal for the CPM is that it is above two. Um, because the CPM represents basically um, it's the common price multiple which means that how many times does it double essentially within a year because it's taking the average of the 52 week high and the 52 week low we will go more into details in later sections the latest float is a key key matrix for finding um, high powered stocks without any leverage I mean these are stocks that can literally move hundreds of percentage points within a week if not a day so the key is we're looking for latest floats ideally below 50 million and we're looking for average daily volume over 250,000 and I also look for volume that was on the last day of at least 250,000 okay so when we have this down this is what the algorithm spit out or provided us with as scanned opportunities. The first one is key holdings. We can see that it's been since the beginning of 2016, the low that it hit was $3.91 and the highest it made in one year was $13.57. So it made almost nine dollars or over nine dollars in return almost ten dollars in return so three times its value this stock grew and you can see this one week it grew over 53.2 percent so these are the kind of stocks that i'm talking about that have the potential to move a lot and that that's what you're looking for with very low risk so one way to take this stock would be if you're looking to buy this stock would be at the high of the last two candles because these two recom or these two candles uh, represent two weeks. So the high of this is twelve dollars and three cents. I usually would put a buy stop just above it by five cents, so at twelve dollars and eight cents, because that kind of gives me an indication that there's a breakout, and my stop would ideally be five cents below this. So the my stop would be at ten dollars and sixty two cents and my buy would be at twelve dollars and eight cents so I'm essentially risking a dollar forty six per share but the potential for this stock is that it can easily go all the way it can it can double within this this year there's a very high probability because the highest it's been is is over twenty three dollars and so yeah it's it can easily double and we're seeing that it's at a high of the last 52 weeks or it's near a 52 week high so it's in an uptrend and that helps all right let's come to a, another example similar thing that you can see the low for this stock was seven dollars and thirty two cents and the high that it made has been Wow, $29.45. This is all within a year. This is all within a year that this stock did. That's brilliant. And as we can see currently that it's near the high 
not too far away from it um, instead of being down here so it's in an uptrend essentially or just more consolidating uh, within this region if I'm going to look to buy this stock I would do the same thing I would buy it at the high of the last two weeks which is twenty six dollars and ninety eight cents and I would put my low below the, the low of the last two weeks which would be twenty four dollars and fifty nine cents now let's come to another stock here you go now this stock in January let's just see what's the lowest it went to I would say that essentially this is the lowest it hit it was three dollars and ninety five cents and it went all the way up to nine dollars and forty nine cents so made about you know over five dollars and fifty cents over a hundred and fifty percent return on investment now this stock is kind of an ideal stock because if you look at its data it's it's first got a low low price but then it's on the nasdaq exchange it has a cross multiple of 2.4 that means it has the potential to be a doubler in value within a year its float is below 50 million its average volume is over 378,000 or to over 250,000 so there's liquidity in this stock now how would I trade this stock um, well I would actually take the stock at the high of this which would be six dollars and ninety five cents and I would actually put it at the low at six dollars and ten cents so let's do some numbers I personally like this stock so I might actually be sending an alert for the stock to our students in just a few minutes so we come to our video or our portfolio manager and today's date is um, January 17 2017 so MITK and I am planning to buy this at the high of this which is 690 plus 5 cents for spread which is six dollars and 95 cents so 6.95 and I plan on risking 6.15 I believe let me see so six dollars and ten cents because the low was six dollars and fifteen so we make it six point one so then this sheet is telling me that the risk is eighty five cents per share the percentage is twelve point two three percent so that means that if I put all my money on just this stock if it goes against me and if it stops out after triggering the stock at 695 I lose 12 percent of my account now obviously we're not going to be doing that so let's continue 20 if the stock rises in value by 25 percent um, which is essentially two times the return on investment that would be at the price of eight dollar sixty nine cents I can look at that as my first target stop the second target stop could be when the value if the value of the stock rises by 50 percent in the coming months so we have a stop at 610 we have a gain of 85 cents and let's just say our account is worth $25,000 all right if we have a $25,000 account we would have to buy about 4,000 shares yeah so D5 divided by D5 so okay let me do something here so the total amount divided by how many shares can we buy um, at the entry part so we can buy up to 3600 shares and that would give our $25,000 account a risk of 12.23%. But if I have a $25,000 account, I want to keep my risk for my entire portfolio around 3 to 5%. So I'm not going to risk $25,000 on this trade. No, no. I'm probably going to be risking about, um, let's just say, 5000 So that means I may buy around 700 um, shares of this for approximately $600 risk on a $25,000 account 
personally that's fine with me because as you as you're seeing there's not just one trade you'll be taking you'll be taking dozens of trades so it is it is quality trades that we have to take and we don't have to risk too much money on one that way we are able to run them in the long run and look for um, solid returns so okay that was MITK I'll be sending an alert based on that and let's move on to the next one on deck as we can see that there's potential for this one you could buy it at the breakout of this but to me hmm, there is a trend <laughs> and obviously it's it's kind of following the pattern of still being in a downtrend uh, it's kind of breaking the trend line that's what I have the moving average for here but I'm not too comfortable taking this one this one looks like a good one Cena Corp um, but as you can see the float is increasing in value yet the CPM is still greater than 2 so there's still potential for this one to double and just to see and look at things we can see from 2016 and if you're looking at January 2016 right here the low was 39.58 and the high was over $85 so it did double within a year or in essentially within nine months um, this one doubled so there's potential so I can look to buy at the breakout of 69.42 and put a stop at 66.35 so let's do that let's let's see how that works let's look at Cena at 69.42 and then I think which is the high of this plus five cents and 66.35 right here okay whoops 66.35 so our risk is three dollars a share or our risk is four percent um, of our entire portfolio if we put all our money on this stock and if it continues to rise this is how it would look if you're risking five thousand dollars you would be able to buy 72 shares for 220 dollars these are the kind of trades you want to be looking for ideally that have low risk and potential to be doublers within a year um, they can be very lucrative because if you're risking four percent of your portfolio or even one percent and you take ten of these kind of trades within a year and if they are doubling you're making a 20% return annually and that happens quite too often with these kind of trades now cloud peak is actually something that I'm really really interested in because first off if you look from January low that was here was a dollar eight and the high